Hey you guys, this is Diane Brain. I'm back again with DB Media Creative Solutions from consultation to content creation. We're providing all those needs for you guys. I wanted to go ahead and jump into this XMOS logo revamp. Um, so I'll go ahead and open up the original logo. Um, I did not make this logo. Uh, so this is the original logo that the client came to me with. And um, they sell Irish moss, so the sea moss, sea moss gel. Um, and their logo here, if you look, um, it's basically like an X, because um, it's literally called X moss. So I mean, that, that made sense. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, so they have an X here. It's outlined in white. Most of his branding is on a black background, like a dark background. So that's just kind of the look that he's going for. So the, the white stroke on that, that was a good move. Um, it has a lion in the back. It's eating the moss, uh, which is, you know, wink, wink, we're supposed to eat the moss too. <laughs> and then he has his social media handles underneath. So the logo overall, I mean, it's, you know, I never say the logo is bad, um, but he just wanted to spice it up a bit. He hadn't revamped uh, his logo or, you know, just refresh his branding at all in a while. Um, I also did another video on this YouTube channel where I did the rebranding of his website as well. He liked the logo so much that he wanted me to revamp his website and you can check out that video. I will insert that link down below and uh, you can check that out at your leisure. But yeah, so let's just go ahead and get into this. Um, so basically, like I said, he came with me with these elements. I wanted to keep certain aspects, um, first of which being the X, right? So um, what I did do was I found a font that I thought was kind of cool, like, you know, more modern, basically clean, um, you know, just cleaner than the one that he had. If you look here, it kind of has like this weird double edge, but it's not really anything being done with it. It's, it's a, it, it, it doesn't have like an extra color in there or anything like that, no extra element there to kind of make it stand out as some type of 3D element, or, you know, just to kind of play on that, like even if it's like a different color or something like that. So um yeah i was like well, you know we can stick with the white stroke of course because he's on a black background but i wanted to make something that was universal as well not just something that would you know look good on one thing but you know just really you know looking at the overall branding you know when you're rebranding your business you do want to keep that in mind that you want your logo <laughs> that's basically like your stamp you know so you want to be able to put that stamp on as many products as possible without having to vary it too much because you want people to get used to seeing your brand, uh, you know, because that's that's the first thing that people see of your business is your logo a lot of times. Um, so you just want to make sure that that's present always. <laughs> and, um, you know, you don't want it to look annoying or out of place, you know, so it's certain things that go with that. Um, but anyway, hopping back to the X here. So I picked this font out. Um, I thought this X looked kind of cool. So we have that element there. Um, I also wanted to keep the lion aspect of it. Um, he's, you know, it's very natural herbal type of thing going on. So I definitely felt the lion, you know, the greens, the browns, you know, I, I saw where he was going with that. So I thought that was cool. But the lion in the back, if you look here, it's just a little, I mean, it looks like it could be a painting. You know, I don't think this is an actual picture. If it is, it's very uh, pixelated on the top. So, you know, it just doesn't look like a, a rich image. So what I did was I went ahead and grabbed a photo of a lion. Um, so I don't believe this is a drawing. Um, this actually came from uh, a safari, <laughs> actually. This came from a safari website. Because I, I try to find things that aren't copyrighted. Uh, you know, just so that people won't have any legal issues down the line. That's also something that you want to keep in mind. Google is great, but you really want to pay attention to, you know, images being copyrighted things like that, um, because if somebody else is copywriting that image, you could get in trouble for displaying that image, especially if you display it for pay. And if you don't give them credit, you know, it's just, it's a whole legal fiasco um, <laughs> that comes with this new digital age. So I definitely try to, you know, um, keep my clients, you know, above board, you know, uh, whenever I'm doing things with them. So we have the line here, I like that imagery. So. What I did with the X was, if you look here, this X is just like a straight up X. It's, you know, just a, a rectangle shape if you go from the four points. So when I looked at his original logo, I saw how he kind of had this 
off the side element like it was a little off kilter a little bit like you know one end was longer than the other for sure and then he had room to put his social media handles or you know any other text he wanted to put down here so i was like i do like that element you know i, I want to keep it with what he had um he wanted to still be able to do the same things he just wanted it to be a fresh new look so i didn't want to go changing the whole thing around um so what i did do was I took that X and I just cropped one little side here and I, I scooted that up and trimmed that up nice and clean um, and put a white stroke on that guy. Um, I filled it red because uh, you'll see in the next step why well, that's filled red because I have to now insert the lion, right? Um, but even before I get there, I put a rounded rectangle back there. So that's really just a rounded rectangle if you can see that layer over here. Um, that's all I put there. Now, once again, I do use Adobe Photoshop for all of my graphic editing. Um, I use Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere for all of my editing needs across the board. So uh, that rounded rectangle is down there. You know, that way we can have some space to reinsert those social media tags, but it keeps it cleaned up. So we have that there. Um, then if I take that off, I have the lion, right? So that lion, all I did was tilt it over a little bit. Um, you know, I just played around with the rotation there till I got it how I liked it in that X. And then it came out like that. So that's literally, if you just look at the X by itself with the lion in the back, that's what that looks like. Um, with, like I said, just the lion cropped out inside of the X. Um, and I thought that that looked kind of cool. I did want to add a couple more little elements to it. So here's the final product. Um, you know, I did put some shadow up in here just to give it, you know, more of a, like a ah, like almost like it's coming out. You know, I wanted it to, to look like it's really coming at you. Um, I did like the eating the moss element. So I did, you know, put that back there. Um, I didn't put the moss in the middle here, like how it was on the original. If I hop back to that, because it, just kind of, it cuts it right in half. Um, so I felt like it would look kind of cool if it was just more, a little more down towards the bottom because you can really see the lion is in the X, like this X moss, like it's in your face and his brand is very bold. Um, you know, hashtag get active, hashtag get X moss. Those are his handles that he likes to use. So um, his website is here again, as it was on the original. And I also replaced his social media down here. So, that is the Xmos logo revamp. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, uh, follow us on social media. And yeah, let's just keep going, man. Let's keep this thing moving. Let's get moving towards your better business self. And let's get you rocking and rolling with what you need to get into this Photoshop, get into this Adobe Premiere. Um, and just really put yourself out there, man. Branding is everything. Branding is everything. So you definitely want to put your best foot forward to your customers, to your clients, whatever you're doing. Um, so I'm here to help. DB Media Creative Solutions is here to assist you with whatever you need, whether it be websites, consultation, business plans, website redesigns, graphic design, logos. Uh, I do everything. I do everything. So um, hit us up. Hit us up. Hit us up. Thanks for watching.